I thought it would be interesting today to compare Coriolanus with Cincinnatus. They were both very successful generals, militarily speaking, who were very anti-plebeian. Allow me to speak about Coriolanus first. He earned his cognomen after taking the Volscan town of Corioli, shown on the map, in 493 BCE. But his views on the plebeians caused him to ally with the same Volscians he had just defeated and march against Rome in 491 BCE. He is persuaded by his mother Vittoria and his wife Volumina to halt his attack on what was his home. The Volscians end up killing him for his treachery against their city. Cincinnatus was, did not have the same response. During his consulship, he was very anti-plebeian, but his side didn't win. And instead of arming himself or allying with a neighboring tribe, he simply resigned from the consulship and went to work on his small farm. But, in 458 BCE, the Roman Senate asked that he lead their troops into battle as dictator to relieve Roman forces who were fighting against the Aequi. This results in the Battle of Mount Agidus, which Cincinnatus wins and subsequently rescues Minutius's army. Thank you for listening.